Midland International Air and Space Port IATA, MAF, ICAO, KMAF, FAA LID, MAF formerly Midland International Airport is a city-owned international airport about midway between Midland and Odessa, Texas. It is owned and operated by the city of Midland. In September 2014 it became the first U.S. facility licensed by the Federal Aviation Administration to serve both airline flights and commercial spaceflight. Overview The airport has three airlines, two serving hubs with regional jets and one flying mainline jets. Southwest Airlines is the largest carrier at the airport. In 2012, 497,193 passengers were in plane. History Origins Midland International Air and Space Port started as Sloan Field, a small airport started in 1927 by Samuel Addison Sloan. Sloan leased 220 acres of flat grassland from Clarence Scharbauer, a rancher. Sam Sloan was killed in 1929 and his brother, William Harvey Sloan continued the operation. In 1939, Harvey Sloan sold the field to the city of Midland for $14,500. As war clouds gathered over Europe in the late 1930s, Midland businessmen could foresee the possibility of a military base in West Texas and in 1940 they started promoting the airfield for use as a training base to the military establishment in Washington. The airfield was upgraded by the Works Progress Administration with runway and taxiway improvements and lighting. Brigadier General G.C. Brandt, commander of the Gulf Coast Air Corps Training Center at Randolph Field, visited and reported that the situation at Midland was favorable. On June 13, 1941 it was announced that Midland would become a training base, Midland Army Air Field. Topic. World War II Midland Army Air Field was home to the Army Air Forces Bombardier School, one of a dozen bombardier training schools. It was one of the West Texas Bombardier Quadrangle schools of the Army Air Forces Training Command, along with Childress Army Airfield, San Angelo Army Airfield and Big Spring Army Airfield. The sole purpose of the Bombardier College was to train young men to use the Norden bombsite. The first group of cadets, class 42-6, arrived for training from Ellington, Texas, on February 6, 1942. Midland reached a peak base population of more than 4,000 and graduated a total of 6,627 Bombardier officers by the conclusion of the training mission on January 1, 1946. Topic Post-war civil use Midland Odessa Regional Airport opened its new passenger terminal in the early 1960s. It was served by Continental Airlines and Trans-Texas Airways and American Airlines, until 1963. The first jets were Continental Boeing 707s in 1965. The terminal had a scalloped roofline, allowing a column-free interior. All services, ticketing, baggage claim and concessions, were inside the building, and a single departure lounge opened onto the apron. The late 1970s oil boom led to economic growth and more flights by incumbent airlines and new entrants like Southwest Airlines, American Airlines returned in June 1981 and America West arrived in 1987. A new gate area was built along the apron with four second-level gates with jet bridges, concession space and escalator wells linking the addition to the existing terminal. The south end of the main terminal was extended with more ticketing space and the original terminal was modernized the scalloped roofline was removed. By the 1990s several new entrant carriers had pulled out and most of the rest had downgraded to regional jets, only Southwest, the airport's largest carrier, operated mainline jets. The terminal building looked tired, and airport officials began planning a replacement. 
Construction began in the infield parking lot in 1996. The first half of the new terminal opened in early 1999 and the 1966 terminal was demolished. The second half of the new terminal was finished in late 1999. The first airplane built and flown in Texas, the Pliska, an approximate copy of the Wright Flyer II, was donated to the airport and is displayed in the terminal over the baggage claim area. The Confederate Air Force, now the Commemorative Air Force, moved to Midland in 1991 and holds an annual airshow featuring its Warbird aircraft at the airport. In 2012, the Midland City Council amended a contract allowing three teams of experts: Midland International Airport, Park Hill, and Smith and Cooper, to prepare and submit a commercial space launch site application. On September 17, 2014, the Federal Aviation Administration formally approved the application, making Midland International Airport the first primary commercial service airport to be certified as a spaceport. The primary purpose of the launch site is to permit XCOR Aerospace to test its highly specialized reusable winged commercial space vehicle, XCOR Lynx. The company relocated its headquarters to the Midland International Airport from where it plans to offer commercial space flights. The XCOR research and development facility was planned to be located at the airport as part of a $10 million economic development incentive deal. As XCOR froze Lynx development in June 2016, Midland Development Corp. is looking for other space companies to use the facilities. Topic. Facilities Midland International Air and Space Port covers 1,600 acres 650 hectares at an elevation of 2,871 feet 875 meters. It has four asphalt runways, 420 seconds, 4,605 feet times 75 feet 1,404 meters times 23 meters, 1028ths, 8,302 feet times 150 feet 2,530 meters times 46 meters, 16L, 34R, 4,339 feet times 100 feet 1,323 meters times 30 meters, 16R, 34L, 9,501 feet times 150 feet 2,896 meters times 46 meters in the year ending May 31, 2017 the airport had 66,168 aircraft operations, average 181 per days, comprising 25% military, 43% general aviation, 13% air taxi and 19% airline. 106 aircraft were then based at the airport, 34% single-engine propeller, 35% multi-engine propeller, 28% jet and 3% helicopter. Topic. Airlines and destinations Topic. Passenger Topic. Statistics Topic. Top destinations equals 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 airline market share.